Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Another Angle with Tifa Hassan. How are you doing? On today's episode, as per usual, I'm here to shake up some tables, you know, start conversations. On today's episode, I've got four amazing guests with me, but before we get into it, we're speaking BBL, cosmetic enhancement, cosmetic surgery, all the shenanigans. You know what's going on these days now. So let's get into my guests. My four guests today are Titi. Hi, my name is Titi. You can call me Tit. Ajibola Gray. Hi guys, my name is Ajibola Gray, Lego Jagana. Kenny. Hi, I'm Kenny Fabule. I'm a writer for a lifestyle magazine and a culture baby. And Toyasi. Hi, I'm Toyasi Ademo. I am a content creator and I have a t-shirt line called Dream. They're here to give their opinion on video, cosmetic surgery and body enhancement. Don't worry, don't worry, relax, relax, because the conversation is coming up. But before we get into it, let's take a short break and we'll be right back. So we all know what's happening in society these days. BBL seems to be the trend. Body enhancements are really coming up right now. There are lots of body enhancements. Um, what's it called? Hospitals here in Nigeria and even in Lagos too. That wasn't even a thing before. People used to be scared of getting their body enhanced in Nigeria because fear of this, fear of that. But now it's become a thing. People are comfortably doing it, which is a great thing. That's not bad. It means that we're improving in the medical sector in Nigeria. So thumbs up to us. So of course, some people are pro enhancement, some people are against it. Like this tweet. You know, post that you just saw. Let's get into it, guys. Let's let let me answer here for my four guests now. There's a rising BBL culture. What do you think about this? I don't have a problem with people getting their bodies enhanced, but they should go to the right people. The number of <laughs> block brick bomb bombs we have seen on the streets is depressing, it's stressful. It's quite unnecessary in my opinion. Uh, well, as far as you know, it's healthy. If 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 it's healthy and you know, if they're doing it the right way with, you know, right certified doctors, I mean, it's fine. I could get some someday, maybe. The stigma around it is where I have a problem. You know, it's okay to do a tummy talk, but it's not okay to put a little bum bum in your ass. Well, my friend would say that most people that are against it cannot afford it. But I'm telling you, if I can afford it, I won't do it because I love my body and, um, there's nothing I would like to change about it. I've grown to love my body over the years. I know, I, I, I say this a lot, that the most important concept in life is self-image, um, self self-love, right? So if you don't love yourself, nobody's really going to love you. It's going to be difficult. So like, whatever it takes to get to that point where you look in the mirror and you say, oh, bad bitch, go for it. Some people will say, oh, it's easy for me to love my body because maybe they think it's, it's you know, <laughs> but, Yes, it is easy to love my body, but then if I did not have this body, I'll, it will still do me a lot of good to still love my body, no matter what shape or size I am. Like Ajibola said, I also think that there's nothing wrong with doing a PBL. But to some extent, I also agree with Titi also. I mean, she said she wouldn't do it even if she could afford to. Well, you wouldn't blame her. Her body looks the way her body does, so you can't exactly blame Titi. But if you dip it, what Kenny said, there is some type of stigma. Women can get their tummy tucked in, even though they are still crucifying those ones though, but women can easily get their tummy tucked in and there wouldn't be so much of a problem. But once the BBL is done, there's an opera. 
So why is there a stigma between one form of cosmetic surgery and the other? For the life of me, I don't really understand. That aside. So moving on guys, be honest, between me and you, is there any part of your body that you would want to change? And if yes, what part? I think for me, I, for the crazy thing, I like my belly. I know people, people always say, oh my god, how? But I actually do, I think it's cute. I think I, I look like Winnie the Pooh, so definitely my belly. But maybe my arms, yes. I think if I can afford to, if I had the courage to, I most likely do my arms. But yes, I want to hear from my guests. What part of your body would you enhance if you could? Me? No, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one. <laughs> I'm not looking to enhance any part of my body, but if you know if i was lacking in and if i feel if i feel like if i feel like i mean i'm lacking in one particular area and i have the funds for it i would just come and just go ahead with it but for now now nah, i'm good i don't think i would ever do that my family body would disown me but yeah i've thought about it that if i had the opportunity i probably reduce fats here and there just take out a little bit if i could enhance something to be my boobs but then that would be after childbirth because i understand that childbirth um, changes your body as a woman and I've seen a lot of mothers after um, breastfeeding and all that their boobs are not you know and as my name implies I love my boobs so much clearly we can see that Titi is obsessed with the tits but I mean I love it I can't use the nasty, they are perfect. No, I mean, I love it. I love the energy. I absolutely love it. And as you great said that uh, it's a bit but can't be going anything that he would want to change. And I think that's absolutely cute. I mean, it's not crucifying it. It's not, you know, shutting it down. But maybe in future, there's something he felt uncomfortable with. It just might change it. But considering all of that, and considering the fact that BBLs and body enhancement and cosmetic surgery of any kind is quite life-threatening the moment you're going under the knife for anything or the other is life-threatening so what would you call a good reason to have your body in hand a personal satisfaction maybe an accident the only reason is if you want to do it if you want to do it do it it's just the same thing as going to the gym all right you know people think you know you're working out so that you can look beautiful for other people but i just want to look good for myself that's the first person i see in the mirror so when i look at myself i look beautiful I give myself that compliment first, whatever anybody that any other person thinks. It's a problem, but I come first. And yes, if you don't love how you look and you, you have the means to change it, by all means, make yourself happy. Everything we do is life-threatening. If you walk outside, you can get hit by a bus. Anything you do, if you, you can eat poison. It's anything you do is life-threatening, so and you only have one life, so anyhow you like. You are pleasing yourself first. That's, that's, the, that's the number one goal for me with um, BBL and body enhancement. You are there to place yourself first. So like if you want bigger boobs, go get bigger boobs just to feel like the bad bitch that you want to feel like. Personal satisfaction, which is the same thing as what TT said also. Uh, she said to love yourself, self-esteem, body enhancement, body image, very important. But I like that Kenny, also I like to that, that it, it is life threatening and it can be quite dangerous. So if you're going to do it, thumbs up to you. I mean, I respect it, I respect courage. It's, it's, it's not easy. But then if you think about it, Toyos' point is very, very valid. So why stop at body enhancement and cosmetic surgery? You can literally, like she said, walk out of your house and get hit by a car. So, I mean, person may go survive, go survive. But do you think that body enhancement Cosmetic surgery takes away from the body positivity campaign. I mean, we've heard a lot of back and forth. We've seen a lot of back and forth online. Do you think that it takes away from what the body positivity campaign preaches, though? I think it does, right? But then I think it's I think it's a personal thing. I think it's a personal thing because if you're comfortable in your body, then I don't think there is you know any need for you to want to go ahead with you know the the BBL thing. Body positivity should be, um, it's broad, so we should like include everybody, even the BBL community. I, I feel like it's not taking anything. I feel like there are two separate campaigns. Um, you know, we've seen slim people as well, you know, 
getting BBL done. So it's not it's not just exclusive to to plus size women. And I th I feel like they should be treated as separate campaigns. The whole idea of body positivity is you know you want to be comfortable in your own skin. So if there's something that's making you uncomfortable, you remove it or add it. As long as you're happy with your own body at the end of the day. The idea of doing a cosmetic surgery, I want to believe is to feel good about yourself. So that, that's where body positivity comes in. You know, loving and encouraging people to love the body they're in. I mean, yes, love yourself as you are made. It's easier, right? But I mean, there are things that you want to change and you've changed those things that you're more comfortable with yourself. So I think it's only because I, I agree with them. I agree with my guess. It should be all inclusive. But guys, real talk. How do you perceive people who do BBL? or body enhancement and cosmetic surgery? How do you perceive them real talk? Do you consider them probably insecure? I think, yeah. No, 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 I don't think so. It's just what you want. If you want to get your body enhanced, fine. If you don't want to, it's like getting my hair done. That's how I think it is. If I want to cut my hair, I cut it. If I don't want to grow my hair, I grow it. It's the same thing. I feel like everybody has insecurity one way or the other. And, you know, the difference between the people who have now gone to surgically enhance, you know, to surgically erase that part of their, um, you know, insecurity and the ones who haven't is, you know, I think finance, finances and, you know, the presence of balls. Considering the fact that, you know, um, a lot of women have to deal with, you know, body shaming and all of those things in the society and every single day people are trying to, you know, to build the confidence and everything and then, but then you can't stop people at the same time from doing whatever it is they want to do with their body. If anything, I, I admire their strength, you know, to go through the entire process. I think it's a, it's a really difficult thing to do and they did it, so yeah, I see them as strong. So, TT says that to some level, to some extent, they, I mean, they might be insecure. While Ajibola says, surely you can't stop people from doing what they want to get, but you really can't, I mean, insecurity or not and that leads me to what, what, what Kelly said we all have some level of insecurity that we're dealing with I want to believe that almost everybody does I mean yes you might think yourself perfect but to some extent I mean look in the mirror now there was something like oh this is not bad the way to be better right oh my nose are not bad but how about a straighter my teeth is not bad but I might get braces to make my shit taste like straighter I've got perfectly good teeth <laughs> but I would love for it to be whiter, so there's always something that you might want to enhance. So, I mean, insecurities are not necessarily a bad thing now, are they? They're not necessarily bad, if you think about it. But yes, guys, moving on to, like, my next question. Hmm, this question, oh, we've been battling about this back and forth, from top to bottom on Twitter. Do you think that women especially who do BBLs do it for the satisfaction of men, the attention of men, or do you genuinely believe that we do it for ourselves? What's your opinion, guys? Be honest with me, real talk. Yes. Yes. Let's not lie to ourselves. This is me betraying the woman folk, but yes, let's not lie. Men are not the prize. Okay? That being said... <laughs> you know, I see this argument a lot on social media and I feel it's very, very ingenuine when women say, Oh, I do it for myself. No, you don't. I'm sorry, but like... <laughs> I'm sorry you don't. Because like, you don't wake up in the morning and put makeup on, for instance. You don't do that shit, right? You don't wake up in the morning. You don't stay at home all day and put makeup on. You do it when you go out. Yeah, of course. Some women do their bodies. <laughs> for male attention, yes. We enjoy male attention. So, you know, if you, and men like bum bum, they like breasts. So if you show, you show them what they want to see, they will follow you. Well, just, well, I mean, some people might want to do it for themselves. It's part of it, but the male attention too, you know, we like that. It's a very, very normal phenomenon that people do things to attract the opposite sex. Right, because those are the ones that you want to be with at the end of the day. One answer can't, we can't have one answer to that. I think it goes both ways. You know, I mean, I just want personally that it was just for herself. She just 
the idea of you know just looking in front of a mirror, you know, taking photos and you know how coming out good and everything. Yes, you can in the sense that you know, like I mentioned, the self-image and you know just looking in the mirror and feeling good about yourself. But I feel like at the end of the day, the extra mile that we go to look good is so that people can see us and commend us for looking good. But the sad truth is, men really don't care. Men will still cheat on a woman with you, with a body with a slim woman or with a very big woman. It, it doesn't matter who you are, but do it for yourself though, personal advice. Men and now the prize, period. Girl, Titi, repeat. Men are not the prize. I love it. I love it. Men are not the prize, but <laughs> uh, maybe sometimes some women. Let's let's just be honest. It's not ourselves. We do we do know that some people, some women, do do it for like the the attention of men. Some people do do it for the attention of men. We can't we can't take away that 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 fact. It's, it's right there. It's in our face. And you know what? I completely agree with Ajibola. I think if I'm going to do, get my body done, I'm doing it because I want to look at myself in the mirror and go, okay, yes, T, you look good. You are killing it. That butt looks so tight. Your tits look so good. That's the only reason why I'll be doing a BBL because, once again, men are not the prize. Okay? Okay? Let's repeat it. Let's, in fact, somebody print me a t shirt that says men are not the prize. <laughs> but yes, guys, let's be honest because. There are a lot of women who are risking their lives, going to hospitals that they know that this hospital is killing people just because they want to look a certain way. Do you think that BBLs have suddenly become the new beauty standard? Let's be honest, look around, let's think about it, think about your environment. Do you think that BBLs have suddenly become the new body standard? Yeah, I think that is it now because even the ones that are not getting, you know, um, the cosmetic surgeries are using, you know, waist trainers and Girls. But then those who have been in existence, I remember when I was in secondary school, I mean, women had these things already, the girdle and all of those things, you know, so it is what it is at the end of the day. No, I think BBL bodies are going out of style now. Look at um, Kim Kardashian, she's looking all trim and slimmer now, and her sisters too. So I feel like some babes would follow suit. I feel like they will change over time. After a while, people will not want big bumbum anymore. It's now with big breasts. And then other people like me will shine. But you know, I don't think it's a new standard now. Obviously, not everyone can can afford to get a BBL done, right? And also, there's also like the cultural um, stigma around it. But there's also like the religious. A different person, for instance, can never get a BBL done, right? So I feel like natural bodies are never going to go out of existence but uh, there is you know a way a woman is supposed to look i'm not saying this is it but then that is where the way the society has painted it like there's a way you're supposed to look you know all curvy and you know a flat belly and everything like that. i think it's just a lot on the women though <laughs> Like, maybe us might just be the new body standard but if you dip it too they're actually going out of style good and good and it's kind of sad that you think about it when you dip it like ah our body is actually a freaking trend and like Toya C rightfully said there was a time that tits were the standard ass was the standard height is the standard if I don't some that shortness was the standard would I now cut off my neck or cut off my legs just to be short to fit like into society beauty standards, which is really, really sad. Women's body have become a trend. One minute is thick, the next minute is slim thick, the third minute is fat girls. Girls, are we gonna keep doing this to ourselves? Okay, now that Kim Kardashian has now gone to lose weight, all the girls that got BBLs because of her, what happens to them? I'm very curious. I want to know what happens to all the babes that got BBLs just because Kim got a BBL. It's really sad. Well, yes, guys, let's hear from our guest. In conclusion, what is your angle on BBL cosmetic surgery and body enhancement? Hi, my name is Titi, but you can call me Tits. Uh, my take on BBL culture is um, it enhances body positivity. I wouldn't do it, but if you want to do it, you have the funds, go ahead. Hi, I'm Kende Fabule again, a writer for a lifestyle magazine and a culture baby. 
and I'm saying if you want to get BBL done, go for it. I'm rooting for you. Hi, my name is Toya C. If you want to do it, do it. Nobody's holding you. It's your body at the end of the day, right? My name is Ajibola Gray, like Oje Ganat, and my angle on, you know, cosmetic surgeries and BBL is that, you know, it's fine if you want to do it for yourself. I mean, do it for yourself. Do not do it because of other people. It's okay if you want to do anything with your body, honestly speaking. And, but also be comfortable with your body first. This has been a really interesting show. And I think if you, if, if I dare say, it's been enlightening because you never know how, I mean, we look around us, we, these things happen on a daily, we see these things on a daily, but we don't really know how much these things have impacted our society and our culture as a whole. So this is me telling women out there, your body is not a trend. Do not change your body to ever fit into a trend, because guess what? Society will always have their standards. These trends will always go like go by, new ones will always come. Your body is not a trend. You need to, it's hard, I know, but you need to, be satisfied in the body that you have work on it organically if that's what you want but do not ever change your body shape size to fit into society's standard of beauty all right guys before we get so emotional i have to you know wrap it up and go for it now you know what another angle is getting you up on your screen same time same place same day pop central tv channel 189 on dstv go follow us at this is pop central on dstv and of course follow me your baby girl at dtifa underscore hassan until next time guys